And now we move on to the rest of the, four, the news. People who live in East Cleveland say they're concerned for their safety because the city was forced to use this pickup truck as an EMS vehicle to transport patients with emergencies to the hospital. Yes, this is definitely a concern for me and my family, and even the residents, my neighbors, because we've already experienced the um, incompetence. Now, that pickup truck was used to replace a broken ambulance, which city leaders say has since been repaired. But our Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis goes in-depth tonight on the serious questions this is raising about the East Cleveland safety budget. I pray to God that I don't need them anytime soon. Dawn Steele and her family believe East Cleveland paramedics and firefighters are doing the best they can. But she says her family and neighbors have dealt with EMS response issues over the past five years. That's why Dawn was especially concerned after the fire department had to use this pickup truck to make ambulance runs last week because of repair delays on one of only two EMS units owned by the city. About the, the pickup truck being used, I'm concerned about the fact of why aren't they getting uh, maintenance done on these vehicles in a timely manner. We can't cover everything in the general fund which you should be aware of. East Cleveland safety budget issues had Councilman Nathaniel Martin reaching a boiling point during a Zoom safety meeting last week. Martin hopes more funding will be put into police and fire safety equipment. We are dealing with mismanaging money in East Cleveland. And when we dealing with that, this will happen. Ward 2 East Cleveland Councilwoman Juanita Gowdy demands some of the $26 million in federal pandemic relief funds coming to East Cleveland in July will be used to purchase a new EMS unit and other safety gear. They should have things in the budget plan so it can get passed, but they don't put it in the budget plan. Unfortunately, this is not the first time we've been put in this situation. And during last week's meeting, East Cleveland Fire Chief David Worley talked about the chronic safety equipment issues, an issue News 5 has been reporting on since 2016 when the city had no ambulances after EMS units donated by the cities of Oakwood Village and Mayfield Heights suddenly broke down and had to be taken out of service. This is 5 on Your Side, Investigator Joe Paganakis.